we are what the president called uncharted waters going through a global pandemic right now see south africa and it also comes with a wave of its own uh things uh as far as depression as well and i know that's a topic that is closest to your heart as well tell me one of the biggest tumbling about why is it such a topic that you know pulls your heart straight and so mina in 2010 i was diagnosed with clinical depression and stress <laughs> and you can imagine now 10 years later sometimes when you're young you don't know how to nurture that and how to accept it without now putting unnecessary pressure on yourself exactly like instagram like what we're talking about like young people once you get a following it changes your life it changes who you are because now you're going to sacrifice so much of yourself to maintain this an unrealistic standard on Instagram i know of young people that are on Instagram that started off you know showing off nice clothes here and there nice places but it was something that they were doing for fun and it was an occasional thing but because now they've got a following it changes now that under pressure to keep up with that so what happens when you don't have a job how are you going to be going to all these crazy places how are you going to be dressing in the latest fashion and that's where now people start compromising themselves ungena go shoot at dating ungena ma bless that ungena now you're compromising yourself trying to keep up with the joneses and people that don't matter because when you crash who's going to be there for you we can't really speak about the depression in a black them those or what's that or brutality you know yeah. those are some of the things that we, we, we hear how, how do we shift that progress is one of the how do we shift that education the education is important what you are in job I should be now in the person i didn't have an understanding of depression when the doctor diagnosed me and gave me the news i was so confused so me being my own best friend being my own critic being my own judge has made me feel so comfortable to be by myself that i don't need to always run to friends i don't need to have people acknowledging me and all of that i know myself so i know when i've done right i know when i've done wrong i know when i've excelled i know when i need to improve so being my first critic has now given me so much confidence that when someone says whatever my dad will it So yeah that's basically what I've learned then in what we've seen here